nursery rhymes, singing, and dancing, things new mothers are often encouraged to introduce to their children early on. But why is Mother Goose so important for development? Brain coach Gary Annika says music is a free, universal learning tool to grow the brain. It's a big deal because, first of all, it promotes memory. When children learn a song or they repeat things, they're building their memory reserve. Secondly, it's great for language. How do we learn words? How do we new learn new words? How do we put sentences together in our own language, whatever the language is, through music? So if you're happy and you know, clap your hands. In Andrea Wood's Music Pups class, children are exposed to a variety of genres. Variety is really important because kids learn through compare and contrast. So if we only heard the same ki kind of music or type of music, um, they wouldn't learn, they wouldn't develop their brains in the same way. The nursery rhymes in the song and the music in the background to them literally grows the connectors in the brain. Children are born today with 100 billion brain cells and they look like this. If you look at the diagram, you can see that there's a cell which is a black mark and there's little spider-like guys coming into them and then there's a long tail. Now, you can see that this child's brain has 100 billion brain cells but they're not connecting up yet. So what happens is as soon as we start to speak to children, uh, uh, teach them, raise them, and have music involved, you will see that these branches begin to grow. And they're very simple names. I use this for, for uh, all ages people. The brain cell looks like a tree and the branches receive information. They're called dendrites. Then the information goes down the tree trunk and comes out at the, at the roots at the bottom. They're called synapses. So here's the goal. Here's the goal. For parents, this is when your child is first born. Take a look when parents have done a great job at this, this little boy is now two. Look at the connections in the brain now. Sound. Jerry says it's vital for children to be exposed to music or free play in nature to create those pathways in the brain. I hear parents say, my, my child is the happiest here. They're so excited to come. You know, my child is really shy, but here they're really um, engaged. So I think that's a really good measure of why it's important. Gary says, if you didn't have a lot of exposure to music as a child, there is still hope for you yet. The brain always has the potential to learn. Please remember that the brain is plastic. This is the whole new uh, frontier of brain research. Plastic brains, every human owns a plastic brain, which means it can re rewire, it can regrow, it can reset itself, and it can do that at any age. But it takes willpower and a willingness to believe in the brain, to believe I can grow my brain even if I'm a little kid and I'm way behind in school or I'm an adult uh, who is struggling in the adult world uh, for some reason. Uh, we can grow our brains. On Go for Shaw TV, I'm Rayanne the Plant.